In today's video, we're gonna figure out whether Canon 5D Classic or Canon 5D Mark I camera is still relevant in 2023 or not. If you can still take good photos with this camera or not. So I got this Canon 5D Classic body for around 150 US dollar, which is such a good bargain price for this camera. And if you look at the camera body, it is in excellent condition. See, there is no scratch whatsoever. It, it, it looks almost like a new camera body and I do not know the shutter count of this camera because if you want to find out the shutter count of the camera, you have to take it to a Canon service center. However, this camera body is known for having very, very high shutter count and still be working. Even some of the camera body having 1 million count and still they work perfectly fine. And the build quality of the camera is excellent. The weight of the camera is around 900 grams and it feels really solid and nice in your hand. The grip is really good. You have a top dial here as well. You have a top LCD screen to see all your settings. And at the back, it looks like this. You have a dial over here to adjust your settings as well. And then you have a small screen and the screen is fairly good enough. You can see your images in a decent resolution and it is a fixed screen and it is not a touch screen. So all the settings you want to change are using these buttons. And the menu system on the camera is really simple and easy to use. And as is the case with most of the Canon camera, this is very easy to use camera. If you get this camera, definitely within half an hour, you can figure out how to use this camera if you already use any Canon cameras. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing it and don't forget to press the notification icon. If I talk about the technical specification for this camera, it would not be fair because this camera was launched in 2005 and at that time, it was one of the best professional camera in the market. It used to cost around 3300 US dollar, but today this camera sells for just around 150 to 200 US dollar use. So based upon the price and the kind of features you get, and it is a full frame camera, so you have access to a full frame sensor, so you get better low light performance, you get more depth of field, so it is a really very very good camera even by today's standard. The ISO range on this camera goes from 100 up to 1600, which you can expand from 50 to 3200. So it is not the best camera when it comes to low light performance, but if you are using a lens like 50mm f1.8 or any other fast prime, you can get great results even with this camera in low lighting situation. Because with a 50mm prime lens, you're gonna get at least four times more light compared to a lens having 5.6 aperture. And since it is a full frame sensor, so if you compare this with the APS-C camera, the full frame is gonna get more light. So obviously compared to APS-C camera, the low light performance would be better on this camera. The frame per second on this camera is only three. So this is not the camera that you want to use for sports, action or wildlife photography. But for portrait photography, it will do the job. You do not need so many high frame per second if you want to do portrait photography and the dynamic range on the camera is also not that great it is just around 11.5 so not the best camera if you want to do landscape photography so what is this camera for so this camera is for normal shooting if you want to do street photography if you want to do portrait photography and you are doing landscape but there is not much dynamic range like you don't have so much contrast dark and the bright area then this camera can still do a decent job but more than everything it is the image quality of this camera because the images that come out of this camera are slightly different they have some old World charm to them like the kind of photos you used to get with the film camera so these images have some kind of a character to them now i'm gonna put onto the screen some of the sample photos that are taken with this camera most of them are portrait photos and some landscape photos as well and the photos that are taken are using this 40 mm f 2.8 stm lens and this lens is slightly more sharper compared to the 50 mm equivalent lens so if you want to use this camera and get great result try to use a good lens with a good lens and this camera body you can still take very very good photos and this camera takes 13 megapixel photos and i would say 13 megapixel is more than enough even in today's standard because some of the professional camera like the sony a7s that camera has only a 12 megapixel sensor and that can do professional photography so with 13 megapixel as well you can still make really large prints as well however it will not leave you much room for cropping so if you do a lot of cropping then maybe this camera is not for you 
you but if you do portraits and in portraits usually you don't do so much cropping then definitely you can use this camera and take great photos and as you can already see with the images this camera take really nice photos and they have some kind of a character to them and i really love the image quality from this camera especially if you want to shoot black and white photos you want to do some street photography then i would say this camera can take great results for you now guys the final question should you get this camera in 2023 or not i would say definitely you can go for this camera if you want to use a classic camera which takes only and only photos because this camera cannot do any video i forgot to mention before in the video that this is only and only for photography you cannot do any video on this camera one drawback with this camera is that it cannot do auto iso so every time you want to change the iso one major drawback with this camera is that it cannot do auto iso so every time the light fluctuate you will have to adjust the iso manually and that can slow down the shooting process and you might miss some of the shots because with auto iso every time the light fluctuate the camera will adjust it and it will speed up your process a lot now the final question should you get this camera in 2023 or beyond or not well if you are a fan of using some kind of a classic camera you want that character into your photos then definitely you can go for this camera also if you want a really cheap full frame camera you want to get more depth of field you are more into portrait photography you want really nice bokeh then also this camera would be a great choice for you because you can get this camera really very very cheaply and this is the cheapest full frame camera that you can get currently in the market for around 150 or 200 us dollar you will have a full frame camera and if you do only and only photography then definitely this camera can be a great choice for you but if you are also into making videos you want a hybrid camera then maybe this camera is not for you maybe then you can go for canon 5d mark 2 or mark 3 version because those camera can also do video as well but if you are only and only into photography then definitely this camera will not disappoint you because for the kind of price and the features that you get with this camera it is totally worth it i hope you liked my review if you like the video please like it and leave a comment as well that would motivate me as well and please share the video because that would help in growing my channel and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and pressing the notification icon